Hi, I'm Tim Warner, host of the Inform IT Certification Reference Guide, and welcome to this on-certification screencast entitled The SAMS Teach Yourself Video Learning Starter Kits. Our agenda for this brief screencast is as follows. I'm going to describe this new series that we're offering at Pearson and describe why I think it might benefit you. We'll then deep dive into the series that's available right now as of this recording in early 2009, the one on PHP and MySQL. And then we'll finish with providing you my contact information in case you have any particular questions that I can help you with. Now, what is the SAMS Teach Yourself Video Learning Starter Kit? Well, essentially, this is a computer-based training, or CBT, series that we're rolling out here at Pearson. I'm sure if you're an IT professional that you've read our SAMS books. They've been around for a long time. I know I've been reading them for a number of years. In particular, the Teach Yourself books, the Teach Yourself in 10 Minutes, Teach Yourself in 24 Hours, 21 Days, and so on, they're broken up into components that are meant to be just an easier way for you to digest a new technology. And so this CBT series is based on that line of books, and the methodology that we're dealing with is threefold. These are highly produced audio-visual representations of the books, and I've recorded and done a lot of CBT development myself. As you'll see in the demo that I'm about to show you of this product, the production value of the screencast portion is very, very high. What sets this product apart from our competitors like CBT Nuggets or VTC.com and even, frankly, Lynda.com is that the SAMS Teach Yourself video learning products include some remediation. And remediation is a $5 term to mean that instead of just sitting there listening to the narrator flap his or her gums for eight hours or so, you also have some interactive labs and quizzes interspersed. That can break up the instruction and also allow you to get some practice with the technology and get some feedback to make sure that you're on the right track. Finally, you get a printable ebook, which can be helpful to kind of take the course on the road with you, so to speak, and read in airports, Starbucks, or heck, even in bed. The title list. I hope that this color I've selected is okay for your reading pleasure. I'm a very colorblind individual, and sometimes the colors I select aren't that great. I apologize in advance if this is tough for you to read. We have one title that's currently out there in the marketplace. This is the PHP and MySQL product, and there are two that are currently in production and in the pipeline and they're expected out on May 15th, 2009. Those are the one on JavaScript and Ajax, and the other is on HTML and cascading style sheets. So as you see, the theme or the overarching flavor with at least the first three titles in this series deals with web development technologies. Fits in really well because the idea is you can kind of have, especially if you're in a dual monitor situation at work, you can keep the video tutorial up on one monitor or in one window while you're simultaneously working with a PHP editor or Dreamweaver or your development environment in another window. Without further ado, let me show you how the tool works. Once you've purchased the product and have the DVD-ROM in hand, pop it into your computer and this is what the file list on the DVD-ROM looks like. You've got a start.exe loader. And by the way, the files on the DVD work with both Windows and Mac OS X. This is a Flash-based course. The start.exe includes a start.html file. In other words, you can just double-click this Flash shell, or you can use the Flash with an HTML wrapper. For this demonstration, I'm going to double-click the start.exe launcher to start up my Flash Player. You can always install the Flash Player separately if you don't have the correct version installed on your computer. This is what the Flash interface looks like, at least on a Windows XP computer. It's a very clean, lean, mean interface. 
You notice the course is divided into four parts here. Foundations, working with data in PHCP. I was going to say PCP. No thanks, it's PHP. P PHP in the web environment. And then finally using MySQL. Now then, if we open up a lesson, you'll notice that we have constituent parts with lesson, lab, and quiz. You notice if I scrub the video in there, you can see this virtual whiteboard. And like I said earlier, the production quality is pretty darn nice on these CBTs. The lab component is an interactive opportunity for you to, well, interact with the computer-based training and do something to reaffirm to yourself that you understand the goals of that lesson. And then there's a quiz where you can take a multiple choice exam, again, to reaffirm that you understand the concepts covered in that lesson. The install software button will simply load up the any supplemental software that's required on your computer. So that's the interface in a nutshell. You notice that there's a code folder that's mapped to each lesson. In this case, these are going to be PHP files. We step back to the root. There's an ebook folder, and this is where you can access the PDF file that maps to the SAMS title that the course is actually built on. It's not like the course just comes out of thin air. The course is always mapped to an appropriate SAMS Teach Yourself title. Therefore, in this case, in the PHP MySQL title, you've got the full copy of Chris Newman's PHP in 10 Minutes book. And of course, you could always print that off if you want a hard copy. There you go. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions for future screencasts, etc., please feel free to drop me an email message. Again, my name is Tim Warner. I am a full-time Pearson employee. My email address is timothy.warner at pearson.com. You can find me online in several locations. The homepage for the On Certification Screencast channel is informit.com forward slash on certification. The site is mirrored at youtube.com. Please follow me also at Twitter. I post every day, seven days a week, at least a couple of tweets related to IT certification. That's at twitter.com forward slash on certification. And then there's the Inform IT Certification Reference Guide, where I'll periodically post blog entries. Thanks a lot for taking the time to view this screencast. I appreciate it.